Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and welcome to another class of SI and CI. Okay, so here we'll see understanding compound interest without formulae. Right, very very important concept. Okay, understanding compound interest without formulae. Okay, so how to solve toughest question of compound interest like calculating difference between SI and CI for three years or SI given, CI given. Right, so every variety we'll see by one concept, right, that we'll discuss here and that we can do everywhere for CI, okay? So let's start, right, let's start. Now see, I've taken rupees 100 loan, loan at 20% per annum, right? We discussed this in first video, okay? So from there we are again starting. So if it is at SI, if it is at SI, so my capital is 100 rupees. After first year, if I don't pay to the, pay to the bank, right? So after per first year, I need to pay 120 to the bank, 20 rupees interest. After second year, I need to pay 140 to the bank. After third year, I need to pay 160 to the, to the bank and so on, right? That means interest is fixed, right? What is in interest in SI? In SI, interest is always, in SI, interest is always on capital. Very important point, right? But what is CI? What is CI? CI is interest on interest. CI is interest on interest, right? So in CI, again, it is 100 rupees, right? So in first year, again, 20% interest will be charged. So it becomes, amount becomes 120, amount becomes 120, right? So you can see here, right? For we discussed this first, if of after first year, SI and say both are same, that is 20 rupees, 20 rupees, right? So SI and say both are same after first year, okay? Now, from second year, difference will start taking place, right? So what is in CI? CI is case of successive. So 20% interest here, again 20% interest on 120. That is 144, right? 20% 20 of 120 is what? 24 rupees, that is 144. So here interest is 20 rupees, okay? 20% every time, okay? So 20 rupees here is the interest, 120 then 144. Then again 20% successive interest, right? 144, 20% increase. That is 28.8. That is 170, 2.8 and so on, right? This is in CI, okay. Interest on interest charge, right? So what I'm interested is now is the breakup of this amount, right? Because that will be helping in uh, helping us to solve some very good questions, right? So how do we get as interest, right? So I know the amount is 100 rupees. So I, at first year, okay. Then second year and then third year, okay? At first year, in interest is 20 rupees. Second year interest interest is also twenty rupees for SI, and interest for third is also twenty rupees for SI, right? Now on CI, now what is interest on interest charge, right? So in second year, okay, in CI in second year, I see interest here is twenty four. Why interest here is twenty four? Because interest on interest is charged. So for first year interest was twenty rupees, on that twenty percent will be charged. Okay, for first year interest was twenty rupees. On that 20% will be charged. So 20% of 20 is what? 4 rupees. So in second year, interest on first year, interest on interest of first year will be charged, right? So what first year interest is 20 rupees, it's 20% 20 is what? 4 rupees. That will be charged in second year. Okay, that's it. Now in third year, in third year, interest on this 20, that is 4 rupees. Okay, interest on this 20, that is again 4 rupees and interest on this 4, okay, so 20% of 4 is how much? 0. 0.8, so 0. 0.8, right, 0. 0.8. So total CI, total CI for third day is how much? 28.8, total CI for second day is how much? 24, and for first year we know SI and CI both are same, that is 20, right, 20. So 24, 20, so SI and CI for first year are 20, SI for second year is 20, CI for second year is 24, extra interest is 4 rupees that is interest on interest so interest of first year is 20 rupees it's 20 percent is 4 rupees okay for third year for third year interest is again si is 20 rupees now what is this 4 rupees interest on first year interest that is 20 rupees so it is 4 rupees here what is the second 4 rupees interest on second year interest that is 20 percent 20 that is 4 rupees what is this again pointed so interest on second year again this 4 rupees left here right so interest on rupees 4, again I have to calculate, or 4 and 20 is how much? 20% of 4 is how much? How much? 0. 0.8. So total interest is 28.8. So you can see, you can see here, 
interest rate is how much 28.8 you can see here 28.8 here it is 24 so all this data replicating here right so this is a concept i wanted you to i wanted to discuss right now to avoid to avoid decimal right my first for my thing here is why what what you want to do here is now i want to i want to i want to avoid decimals okay i want to avoid decimals so how to avoid decimals here i want to avoid decimals how to avoid decimal so i this point 0.8 right maybe it could be point 0.6 or some recurring decimal so i don't want to solve in decimals right so to avoid decimals what will we do okay so to avoid decimals what will we do so avoid decimal c we'll do during the next uh, next one uh, see to avoid decimals let me write a question here we write a question here rate percent is 16.66 percent per annum at compound interest okay amount is rupees 343 three, sorry rupees 3430 amount is rupees 3430 and uh, ci okay ci is uh, this amount is 3430 uh, okay and time period is two years okay so what is the what is the principal what is the compound interest what is the simple interest what is the difference between what is ci minus si all these things we can calculate okay ci minus si for second year all these things we can calculate right all these things we can calculate now see how to how to do it right how to do it and how to avoid decimals right you see rate here is given as 16.66 percent which which i know is one by six in fraction okay and time period is two years right so to avoid decimal what we do we assume principle we assume principle as this is rate is in one by form right this is one by six here this is six and here time period is two so assume principle as six square that is 36 units assume principal as 6 square that is 36 units right so now principal is assumed is 36 units right why 36 rate is in 1 by 6 form so take this 6 out in denominator and this 2 so assume principal as 36 don't always assume principal as 100 okay okay so assume principal to be 6 square as 36 units why 6 square rate here is in 1 by 6 form t is 2 okay so this will avoid our decimal this will avoid decimal right we'll see this is uh so now when principal is 36 units right when a principal is 36 units principal here is 36 units correct now what is the interest now so interest for first tier is also six rupees okay interest for first tier is also six rupees interest for second year is also six rupees that is one by six right what is principal? what is interest so interest is one by six of 36 okay I should write like this after I can do directly okay let me write first time like this okay so interest for first year is also 1 by 6 that is 6 rupees interest for second year is also 6 rupees that is 1 by 6 this is simple interest obviously it is simple interest right now what is for what is for compound interest now so for compound interest for compound interest right so from here you can say that total SI SI for first year is 6 plus 6 12 units si for first year is sorry si total is 6 plus 6 12 units now what is ci so in ci since it is for only two years so in second year interest on first year will be charged okay in second year interest on first year will be charged what is interest on first year six rupees so in that again one by six of right again one by six of six rupees so again one by six of six rupees so one rupees again is the interest again plus one that is one is the interest right so this ci becomes seven units okay so that basically means that ci si si for two years it is 12 units and ci for two years is how much 13 units right and just i'm explaining the concept right now not solve this question right now okay i'm just explaining all the concept this question you can can be solved very fastly once you understand this concept of how to avoid decimal what to assume in principle right if it is in one by something form one by x form so here it is one by six time is two years assume principal to be this six is square right then again if time period was three years here assume principal to be six cube that is two and six right if it a time period was four years assume principal to be six raised to four 
Okay, so whatever it is here, that raised to time. Okay, that will that will eliminate all our fractions and decimals, right? We'll solve, we can solve all in integers now. Okay, what is amount? Okay, so what is amount? Now we can, and we got this concept, now we can solve this question now, okay? What is amount actually? So amount is always principal plus interest. Principal plus interest. So since it is at compound interest, so it is it should be principal plus compound interest. If it was SI, it is principal plus simple interest, right? So here, what is amount? So amount given is rupees four, sorry, three four three zero. Amount given is rupees three four three zero. Three four three zero is equal to principal plus interest. Principal is thirty six units. In compound interest is thirteen units. So thirty six plus thirteen, that means forty nine units is rupees three four three zero. Therefore, one unit is how much? Three four three by forty nine. Forty nine seven ja three forty three seven cube, right? Three forty three. So that is seventy rupees. So one unit is seventy rupees. This is what you needed to calculate. One unit seventy rupees. What is SI? So it SI is twelve units. So twelve into rupees seventy. That is rupees eight forty. What is CI? 13 units so 13 into rupees 70 that is 910 okay what is principal so principal is principal is 36 units so 36 units so 36 into rupees 70 that is 2520 so everything you can get by this concept right everything right so this is a very good concept to understand compound interest okay without decimals without fractions just assume the data in terms of in terms of whatever is in rate is in one by form and it raised to whatever is the time period okay whatever is the time period for two years it is it should be pretty okay for two years okay we can solve one more question we can solve one more question okay uh, we can solve one more question here assume rate percent to be 11 1 by 9 percent okay assume time period to be two years okay and assume that uh, uh, total compound interest compound interest for two years is let's say rupees uh, 760 okay so again all these things we can find okay what is principal what is uh, amount what is uh, si right all these things we can find again first get the again concept right first get the concept behind it so since rate percent is 11 1 by 9 percent we know that it is 1 by 9 so rate is 1 by 9. Okay, rate is 1 by 9. Rate is 1 by 9. Time is 2 years. Okay. So what is principal? So we should assume principal as. We should assume principal as what? This rate is 1 by 9. So 9 and t is here too. Assume principal as 9 is square. Assume principal as 81 units. Right. Since principal is 81 units, what is the interest for first year? So interest for first year is? 1 by 9, right? What is the rate interest? Rate of interest 1 by 9. So 1 by 9 of 81. Interest for first year is rupees. Interest for first year. Interest for second year. Interest for first year is also 9. Interest for second year also 9. Right? This is obviously SI. For CI, what is it? 9 plus 1. No. So 9 plus 1, right? So in CI, again, in, se on, in second year, interest on first year will be charged. What is interest of first year? 9 rupees. Again, 1 by 9 of this 9. Again, 1 by 9, that is 1 rupees. So, total CI for second year, 10 units. Okay. This is total. This is what? This is total CI. Okay. So, CI for second year is how much? We can write 10 units. What is CI for two years? It is SI and CI for first year is same, right? First year is same. 9 plus 10. So, SI for two years is 9 plus 10. 19 units right just get this concept right to get this concept this may not be the may not be asked in the question okay get this concept right nothing else okay all right then, then what si for first year is also nine units okay si for second year is also nine units right what is difference between si and ci after two years how much it is 18 uh, 19 minus 18 si for two years is combiningly how much combiningly 18 units so si for two is 18 ci for two is 19 so 19 minus 18 that is one unit so everything you can get right for solve this question you can solve no issue 
what is the amount okay amount what is the amount also amount you can get what is the amount amount is principal plus ci principal plus ci what is principal principal is 81 81 what is ci 19 the amount is 100 units 100 units right okay for solving solving this question we can solve directly okay what is what is the funda given ci for two years is 760 so i can equate ci for two years is 19 units so 19 units is equal to rupees 760 19 4 year 76 therefore one unit is rupees 40 and you can place everywhere one unit is rupees 40 what is principal 81 units so 81 into rupees 40 this is the principal 81 into 4 is 324 so 3240 what is difference between SI and CI after one year? One unit, that is rupees 40 only, right? So everything you can calculate. What is CI for second year? 10 units. One unit is rupees 10, so 10 into 40, 400. So everything you can calculate here, right? So once you get this funda, now we'll, we'll see, we'll now do it for three years and now we can see how fast we can do question with this method, okay? Thank you. We'll continue this in, continue this in next video.